Here on Lake Burton, the roads are closed, and the only way that people could get around is by boat. And residents have been salvaging what they can here today, and they've also been taking their first looks at some of the destruction here on the lake. The roof of a boathouse is all that's above water. Another boathouse is obliterated, and the copper roof on this multi million dollar home ripped off. Tony Taylor drives up to his home that's barely standing. These two walls are, are just there. That metal pole and that big beam. Taylor was in his living room when the tornado roared through. All of a sudden, I heard some debris hitting the metal roof, and uh, I turned to, I, I said, Well, it's time. I got to about right here, and I heard the explosion. Uh, windows breaking and the glass was gone. He ran to get his 82 year old mother. We went into the middle bedroom and got down between the two beds and it was over. It had already passed us. It was just that quick. What has time standing still now is the devastation the tornado left behind. And to realize that we had a neighbor that didn't make it uh, just brings it that much closer to home. It's, it really hurts. A man who lives a few houses from Taylor did not survive the storm. Surveying the mile long destruction to the lake and seeing only a skeleton of his home makes him marvel at the fact he survived. We were saved. We were spared. That's for sure. Uh, could have just as easily been back up in the woods with the debris. Emergency management here in Raven County, Georgia, says that the roads will probably be closed for at least two more days, so residents will have to get around here by boat and begin the process of cleaning up and rebuilding. We're on Lake Burton, Georgia. Robin Kennedy, 7 on your side.